UN-backed fraud investigators have thrown out hundreds of thousands of ballots for Afghan President Hamid Karzai. The move could set up a runoff vote between Karzai and his top challenger, but it's unclear whether Afghanistan's election commission will accept the UN findings. Preliminary results showed Karzai winning the August election with more than 54 percent, but allegations of voter coercion and ballot box stuffing prompted the fraud investigation and held up final declaration of a winner. The result of the election has been delayed uh, time and again for so many unknown reasons. The process has been kept confidential, and even when something comes out of the ECC as the result of their work, it does not clarify any doubts that we and the people of Afghanistan have. Two international officials tell the Associated Press that the latest findings show Karzai falling below the 50 percent needed to avoid a runoff with former Foreign Minister okay, Abdullah Abdullah. The unsettled election has implications for the war in Afghanistan. The White House says President Barack Obama will not send more U.S. troops until a credible government is in place. Senate Foreign Relations Chair John Kerry returned to Afghanistan Monday to resume meetings with Karzai. Kerry had been in the capital this weekend to pressure Karzai to accept fraud rulings, but left late Sunday for Pakistan. We've come here to offer a different vision for how we can work together to provide security and a strong future for your people. Western diplomats have urged the two sides to reach a power-sharing agreement, which would avoid a new vote. Karzai has said he would be willing to offer post to the opposition in a new government. That falls short of a real coalition with clearly defined powers. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.